What's going on guys? Uh, tonight we're going to do something slightly different. Uh, one of the genres of games that I truly enjoy is survival. And I've picked up this game probably four years ago and I've not really touched it as it was in a very bad state when it first launched. Uh, but it looks like it's had a lot of patches so I'm just going to try it out. and. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I I hope you guys enjoy. We're gonna mess with the settings real quick, and then we're gonna we're gonna get at it. I have no clue what we're in store for. As I said, I've not touched this game in years, so yeah, that's pretty much it. We're gonna go ahead and hop into it. get after it. Alright, let's play as Lucy. You know what? I've not played this game in a very long time. We're gonna delete this character. Oh, I, I can't delete this character. Let's just make a new character, I guess. You know what? I don't feel like making a new character. We're gonna play as Lucy. So, let's start a single player game. We have no save games. What's our difficulty on? Can't even tell us. Let's go with a new game. I'm not going to mess with any settings. We're just going to hop into normal mode. And we're going to start the game. I don't remember anything about this game. So it's going to be kind of like the first time I've ever touched it. I don't remember how long the days are. So we may just do a day or, or, or two and see how it goes. But I've been pretty excited to play this game ever since I went through a log of all the updates that they've put into it. I do remember it being so buggy that I couldn't play it before, though. It is a pretty big game. Day 0, hour 14, so it's, what, 2 p.m. if I'm not mistaken? I don't remember how to play this game at all. So, see a jackrabbit. Okay, we got some iron. Crude oil. Real quick, quick question. I play a lot of Fallout games. Did we just... Did we just come out of a bunker? I mean, I play a lot of Fallout games. I have several thousand hours in the entire Fallout franchise. If we just... Why did we leave the bunker? Were we running out of materials? I see zombies already. Okay, we have a fist button. Let's see, a knife. We need a piece of iron, which I've already got that. Let's craft our knife, put it on the bar. We have cloth, research data, or data, crude oil, pieces of iron, and an energy bar. Let's put the energy bar on the end. Normally whenever I'm playing games like this, this is how I like to do it. I like to put the food on the rear end and the utilities on the rear end, and I like to put weapons on the front end. So I don't let's see. I don't know at all. What I actually need to do in this, but it looks like we've got some stuff to search. Okay, look at that. Fuel, cloth, rubber, plastic. Looks like we have quite a large inventory without a backpack, which is nice. Most of these games require backpacks, which I do personally enjoy because then it gives you a reason to go out and, like, I don't know, the Far Cry games gives you a reason to hunt. Because when you go hunting, that usually grab skins to create bags, and I love that. I'm a huge fan of the Far Cry games, so let's get that out there. But, yeah, I just wanted to see what this game's about now that they've done a whole bunch of updates on it. So, I don't know, what do you think? Should we try to kill our first zombie? Can we go first person? Real quick, let's, let's pause it. We're going to go into, yeah, attack, aim, mouse right. I don't remember it anything about this game. Is there no first person? I really enjoy first person. It doesn't look like they're gonna let us. That's fine, that's fine. We're gonna... What about the, the shurikens, the throwing stars? These are zombies, right? They look like zombies. I'll have to hold it. Ooh. But she just doesn't notice. Oh, he noticed though. Is that your wife? I can't tell when I'm actually charging it. Oh, 
Okay. Interesting. I'm gonna get my ass beat in my first fight with a single zombie. Single Zambinito. Oh my god, how many hits do you take, dog? You have dodge mechanics? Is this Elden Ring? Oh my god, I stopped to grab the throwing knife. Like an idiot. There is no, like, heavy attack either. It's all one animation. Dude, how much health do you have? Oh my god. But I messed it up. Yo, he is beating my ass. Are you serious right now? Oh my god. <laughs> that dude required so much to kill. All right, let's... Well, okay, an energy bar gave us about half of our HP back. That That's pretty good. I'll, I'll say that. Most games are criminally low with, like, just foods and recovery. So... I don't know what we need rocks for, but I'm going to grab it. Um, for an axe, we need stone, iron, and a branch. Okay. Let's... I don't know how to find a branch. What is that? Just another rock? Okay, I'm, I'm going to assume it's going to be like a tree right here. Can we just bust this tree up? What about fisticuffs with it? She's got an iron punch, man. Conor McGregor should be scared. Dude, I don't know. Um, we fought a single zombie just now, and that was almost the end of us. I will say the heal was very quick. What's that? Journal update. New page. Finding your journal. Got an achievement. Yeah, when I played this last, they didn't even have achievements. That's a boar running on the road in front of us. Okay. Clue 01. You've obtained the information required to escape. Go to coordinates 4431 North, 16639 East. You'll find the items you need on the second floor of the research facility. The phone ringing woke me up in the middle of the night. I peered through the left eye and checked the time on the clock above. It was 420, blaze it, AM. I picked up the cell phone and answered it. Dr. Clayton, Dr. Clayton, our VIP's condition is a little weird. It felt like my chronic migraine had made it to my heart. Really? Take her back to the base. I'll head down there immediately. I tried very hard to remain calm during the call. As soon as I hung up, I looked up my contacts and called Leonard. The dial tone only rang a few times before he answered. What's going on? It's so early in the morning. The voice on the other side seemed rather crisp for someone who'd just woken up. General Leonard, I just got word that our VIP isn't doing so well. Please come to the lab right now, I calmly answered. You mean right now? There's something you have to do in the morning. I'll head over there once I'm done, the general replied in a rather annoyed tone. You don't seem to understand. It might be serious. This is why I've been against civilians being involved in this experiment from the beginning. As I've mentioned before, the general cut me off as I began my tirade. This wasn't a decision I made. I'll be there soon. We'll talk then. That was the end of the call. This is our first note, clue one. And our journal just says J.1. So, there you go. Looks like something happened, and the general did not want to hear it, and it involved civilians. I see two zombies immediately, the one I've already hit, one in the building. There are animals everywhere. Is there going to be like an actual hunting mechanic? Or like, how? oh shit. Oh wait, hold on. Oh, we have buttons. Oh, but we don't have any points. Okay, that's fair. That's fine. You can see, I love the hitbox and the headshot that I got. Come on, let's fuck her up. Or him. Oh, we have a mantle ability. Yeah, fuck him up. Get out of here. I should have counted those hits because that took way entirely too long. Graduation thesis and 5-1 one and 1-1. One, one. Made from copper. Can we stack them? We cannot stack them. Oh, because it's a one cent and a five cent, essentially. Okay. Used to do research, graduation thesis. Can we read it or do anything with it? We do have a suicide button. I wish I had one of those. Any, anyways, I'm kidding. Um, all right. Oh, there's three of the four. Nope. Nope. They... 
they're going to... Oh, God, they're going to catch us. You know what? We're going to leave this first building. We're going to go straight down. I do, by the way, have the graphics on as high as they go. This is just what the game looks like, so... Okay, it looks like we outran the zombie, which is what I'm choosing to call them with no preamble. Because, personally, I mean, it, it looks like zombies. If the game wants to call them something else, you know, let them do it. But, to me, they're zombies. Also, I love zombies. In a game with zombies, I'm on it. I'm on top of it. I'm like a marshmallow on a pumpkin pie. Zombies, I'm here for it. Let's grab some research data. Piece of iron. Come on, give me a gun. Fuel, wand, and plastic. Oh, wrong button. I'm so sorry. I'm used to grab all being R, but in this game it's T. I guess for take. That's fine. We'll have to get used to it. I don't know how much I'm going to play of this game. I do remember playing it seriously four or five years ago, and there just being not a lot of content. Like, I'm talking like you could play it for like three, four hours, maybe, which I don't even have that in it. And you were you were just done. I don't even remember if you could escape. It was kind of just like building a base and surviving waves, which is okay. That's a feature that I wish um, Sons of the Forest had, or the Forest in general. Just while we're on that topic, I don't understand why a game with such a robust robust building system as Sons of the Forest and the Forest, I don't understand why there's zero interaction or need for a base, first of all. Like, <laughs> you can you could build hundreds of thousands of configurations of bases. You got all these traps, etc., and you can beat the entire game without ever having making one. I don't know. I, I genuinely enjoy the game. I've I played through it the day after it came out, I'm pretty sure. Like, all the way through it. I beat it on accident. But still. Just a complaint of mine. Okay. My brother in Christ. How do we get a branch? It seems like that should be easy. Rope. Piece of iron. Still have no branches. You telling me I can't just attack a tree? Grab a branch? Or do I gotta, like... No, that one won't work. Wait, hold on. Go back. Maybe. No, nah, not at all. It's not working. Uh, what about these little bitty bushes? Oh. Vines, leaves, herbs, seeds. Okay. We'll grab a couple. Just be safe. Oh, you can level up from just picking up items? That's interesting. Okay. Let's try this. Just give me a single branch. <laughs> I'm asking for. Please miss. Ah, there it is. Branch. All right. A smidgen of branch. Please, please spare it. Okay. Let's craft us a woodcutter's axe and a pickaxe. Instant crafting system. Also love that. Move that over. Let's do the axes number two. I don't know if any of them will be any better at attacking. So I don't know what to do about that. But let's go... Uh, Let's Johnny Appleseed it. Cut down some fucking trees. Okay. Okay. Oh, you gotta be at the correct distance. Gotcha. Wonder how long this will take. Fine branch, two logs, leaf, three logs total. Okay. Let's um. What about this? Is that just done? Okay. Okay. Let's uh. Let's get a couple logs just to be safe. Like our energy is still doing okay. Our health is almost full. I do actually kind of like this system of gathering. I don't have to like cut down the tree and then go pick up the items, which is very immersive. It is. But can we talk about how annoying it is to have to do that? And then having a log roll away 500 yards and you're chasing that one log because you're like, that's my fucking log. I'm going to grab it. Let's grab. Let's do a torch. Okay. We can do arrows. Is there is there a bow? Is there a bow that we can get? Okay, let's grab the torch, put it number four. Well, we'll put it actually over here, you there, you there. Keep with our utilities on the right, weapons on the left. We will go ahead and make 
two sets of throwing knives that we were at 11 uh one more okay so we got 16 i don't know how many you can carry total javelin okay javelin says that it's throwable but can i also just poke with it or is it just throw oh we just got an achievement prometheus oh I could talk about Prometheus for a while, but we're not going to do that because it'd be rather boring. All right, let's go ahead and take down this tree. We're already four more hours into this day, I think. Okay, more logs, vines. Actually, I don't remember what hour we started at. I don't remember if it was 12 or 2. We're at 4 p.m. now. Got to really back up, and I don't like that. At least give me a first-person view. I got I got some beef with the devs. Wait, oh, a P for viewpoint? Oh, there it is, baby. I'm just an idiot. Okay, that's kind of harder. Okay. I don't know if that's the way to go, man. That's so hard. Okay, cool. Anyways, we got what we needed. Survival note M to check map. Do we did it show where we need to go? It did give us a coordinate, so we can find it rather easily. Okay, controls crouch. And then alt is dodge. The dodge is nice, but man does it take a lot of stamina. Alright, let's uh let's loot a barrel. <laughs> how do you break a how do you break a barrel with a knife, man? Like she is strong. Okay, let's uh let's go to journal. So we gotta go to coordinates 44 north, 166 northeast. So let's open our map. So we gotta find 44 north, 166. Game saved. Nice. 166 east. So it's be about right here. Okay, so let's go ahead and go towards the marker. They made that remarkably easy, and I'm happy about that. That's great. Come on. There we go. We have survival note tab. It just said make a knife, but we, we've, we've got a knife, so I'm not going to deal with that. It's already, what, 5 p.m.? This game is pretty huge though, I will say that. From what I remember, I don't know this map, I don't know if it's been changed or or anything, but the last time that I played it, it was a rather large map. There's large POIs, points of interest, there's, there's large buildings, there's like a military base at least, there's factories, there's prisons. Like it, it's an interesting game to delve into if you're actually gonna do it. There's bosses. I say bosses, but it's just really elite enemies that are a, a bitch to kill. I'm hoping that they have made it easier. Um, there's a lot of mechanics to the game. Actually, let's let's go ahead and place. What do we have? We have two available stats. All right. So vitality gives gives us more attacks and and dodge because it decreases our stamina usage. Endurance decreases damage taken, increases stamina stamina regeneration. Judgment increases HP recovery from items and evasion rate. Memory, damage to trees, boulders, and ore, and damage to zombies. That's a good one. Attention, less noise, more movement speed, we sneak better, strength, more damage, more jumping power. I think we're going to go ahead and put two into memory so we have more damage to all of our gathering items and damage to zombies. For our first level, I think that's... I think that's nominal. That way we can gather slightly quicker. And it doesn't take 37 knife jabs to kill a single zombie. Oh, that dude's pretty cool. Is he like... Oh, he already knows I'm here. I'm not gonna lie, man. I may not make it through the first night. This is... We're on... Oh, God. We're on normal... This is a hard game. I'm just going to say that much. Okay. Yeah, he saw me from far away. I think we're going to beat his ass, though. 
Oh fuck, I don't want him to alert anyone else. Okay, uh, let's go third person for this, actually. Come on, let's do it. Oh, he got hit once with the axe and said he didn't want no smoke? Boy. Ooh. Is there directional damage, like headshots and shit? Oh my god, you can't move at all when you swing, by the way. Oh, oh. Oh, the dodge function. Oh, god, he bitch smacked me. Yeah, no, he's all about the bitch smack. Okay, we, we got this, boys. We got this shit. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, okay, no, he's quick. Oh, god, he's real quick. Oh, god, he's fast as fuck, boy. Okay. I think the axe <laughs> did better than the fucking knife does, but... Yeah, that wasn't great. We're... Okay, before we keep going to the direction we're supposed to go in, we're going to pull out the knife. We're going to loot a house. I don't... Is that green bar? Is it actually a bar, first of all? Is that green bar the durability of everything? Oh, son of a whore. No. <laughs> no. It is so hard to kill shit, man. We're not doing that. We'll fight as we are required to. Like, we're going to have to fight this fat dude in the middle for sure. That's fine. Oh my god, are you kidding me? There we go. There's one. Two. Three. Four. Oh, he's big. Buff! Check your rear. Check your rear. Check your corners. Any chance to get. Okay, so it took us five shurikens to kill him, right? Oh, there they are. That's what I wanted. We got almost all of them back. That's fine. It says throwing knives, but these are shurikens. Come on. Yo, what is your detection radius? Okay, let's see what we got. Oh, that's bad. Less than ideal. Three. I don't like this. Okay, we just got... I just want a piece. Whatever the hell that means. Let's take all. We got throwing knives. Throwing knives. Leather gloves. Oh, okay, hold on. We got... Oh, shit. And they're like... Oh, there's tears. It's superior, so it's like a blue or a, a purple, maybe? Interesting. It is 6 p.m. at night. If it hits nighttime before we can get somewhere safe, we lose. Like, we, we're gonna die. It's gonna be a horrible first episode. I did preface this by saying I have no clue what's going on at this point, though. Two hits, though. Uh -huh. Back up. I'm all about these headshots, though, baby. Get on my level. I will say, every single one of these houses, they're all lootable. So, like, that is something about this game. Everywhere you see, you can go. It's like playing, I don't know, Project Zomboid, but 3D. Shut up! Oh my god, I missed. There we go. What the hell? Oh. Oh, is it just a screamer? It just tells other zombies that I'm here? I do play a lot of first-person shooters, and I'm going to regret saying this, but I have pretty decent aim in most of them. So, when you see me beaming zombies in the dome, don't be like, damn, he's got aim. Oh, oh god. Oh god. He knocked me down. He knocked me down. Get that dodge on him. Like this is Elden Ring. Hit him with a punishment and then a dodge. I do like Elden Ring, by the way. That's probably not a game I'll ever put on the channel, but it's a game I do enjoy playing. Ooh. Moldy potato chips and an energy bar. Oh, God. Why does everyone want a piece of this, man? You know what? Let, let's try something. Oh, he charges. Oh, he charges. Okay. That's fine. You know what we're going to do? Oh, we're going to get hit. Bitch smack. Nope. Nope. Don't like this. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. We're going to get messed up. Eat a bar. 
Okay, we got it. We got this. Come on. Oh God, he's fast as fuck, boy. Jesus Christ, man. Why is he allowed to be so fast? Who decided this? All right, let's grab that. Grab our shurikens. Okay, we, we had 15. We're down to eight. Nighttime is, oh, did I miss one? I missed something here. You know what, I don't even care. Nighttime's gonna hit and we are screwed. We are gonna go ahead and do this though. Increases zombie damage already, screw it. What does that say? Equipped coil? What the hell is that? We'll, we'll deal with it later. Okay, fine. Let's loot a little bit. Copper wire, all right. And we're gonna go ahead and use the, uh, oh, we lose HP if we use the potato chips. They are moldy, I get it, I get it. Yellow mushrooms, we lose both. Did not mean to do that. Let's put the energy bar back up. How do I consume it? I have to actually just use it on the bar. Okay, that's, that's fine. We're learning, we're learning. For the first night, honestly, this is a metric fuck ton of zombies. For pretty much any game. Like, most games usually have, like, a little bit of leeway for, like, your first couple levels, or the first day, even. I, I love Seven Days to Die. That is, if you've never seen it, it's like... It's like this. It's like Minecraft with zombies. Like, you can literally dig through everything. It's all destructible. I love that game. If that's a game you want to see, let me know. I play the shit out of that game. Between playing vanilla and modded, I've definitely got over a thousand hours in it. I even run a server with my Discord friends. Son of a bitch, man. That's a charger, too. You know, we're going to try to boot, scoot, and get the fuck out of here. I don't know what their detection radius is or how many zombies are going to be running into at this point, but honestly, man, it's so it's so dark by now. We just got to go. What the hell is that skull on the top right, first of all? If that, like, all fills up, do we... Oh, that hurt. If that all fills up, do we just die? Right, let's, uh, let's search in here. Okay, interesting, interesting. Potato chips, energy bar, more wand. Or one. How the hell you say it? More energy bars. We're doing really good energy bar wise. I do hear enemies inside of this. This is a supermarket. No. Was that a dog? So the one thing I do know about this game is that these prefabs, these uh, pre-generated fabricated buildings like this they are not destructible. So zombies can't just like break through the walls and come and get me or anything. They have to go through the doors, which the doors are destructible. Oh, fuck. I s oh God. Oh no. Oh my God. I'm almost surrounded here. What the shit is this man? Okay. Okay. I think we're going to try to loot this building and hole up for the night. 7 PM roughly. Okay, I gotta figure out what kind of zombies are what, and how hard it is to kill each of them. Because currently, some of these zombies are a lot harder than others. And it's so late, I don't know what time actual night time is in this game, right? Where in the fuck are you coming from? Two hit, alright. Shit on kid. Alright, we got this. I'm gonna open the gate. Seven is my torch. It, okay, real quick before I do anything. Can I make any other kind of weapon? It looks like right now I have nothing else that I can make. Oh my god, that noise. Oh, I'm gonna die here. Dodge. Shit on. Okay, okay, we're better than we thought. Wooden shield. Oh, it's back up. Oh, we're going Viking. Okay. Oh, that's what I'm talking about, baby. Let's go. Sneak up on him. I don't know if that actually worked, but I did sneak up on him. That's a big old boy. Oh yeah, that's a big boy. Oh, 
I'm pretty sure I do have to like manually block. It'd help if I knew what the distance was in this fucking game though. Let's back up. The y'all didn't know I played Souls like games. Let's go. Let's go, big boy. I'm out of stamina. Hit my bar. Oh, it's a wall. It's a wall. Okay. All right. Let's grab this. We're not going to even look at what it is. We're just grabbing it, baby. Oh, I hear him. He's, he, he's on me. Nope. Okay. He just knows where I'm at. I'm going to regret this. No one actively regrets their life decisions like I do. We're shutting this door. Can they break down doors? I'm honestly not sure now. Okay, let's see what we got. We got iron plate, rubber. Okay. Can I make... Ooh. Copper and iron ingots, nail, rope, rubber. Take it all. The inventory is huge, man. I... I can't praise that enough. I love it. I hope I can make the inventory larger, but having such a large inventory from the get-go is extremely nice. Okay, I just now noticed. Um, I'm going to move for you. On the bottom left. Yeah, so the red is our health, the yellow is our stamina. Shows our weapon, and our shield actually has a durability bar. So I just wanted to make sure you could you could see that. So when I reference those later, because I'm sure I'm going to, you know what I'm talking about. Sniper ammo, shotgun ammo, assault rifle ammo, submachine gun ammo. Okay, where am I that they have all this? Am I in Tennessee? I've not seen Dolly Part. I'm not in Tennessee. Am I kidding? Dolly Part wouldn't be caught up in this. Should be holed up in them hills. Manure... Okay, let's grab all this. Please tell me I'm going to find a gun in here. It just hit hour 20, so it's 8 p.m. I'm getting a ton of crafting materials, though. Is there a lot of turnover in this game? Am I, am I going to die easily and that's why they're doing this? Okay. Maybe the um, storage system is not as large as I thought. Okay, let's look at crafting again. So, yeah, we can make arrows for the bow, but there's nothing in here to, to make a bow. How does this work? If I put something in there, it doesn't do anything. Okay, that, that's fine. What about, oh, B for crafting, because for whatever reason, games use that a lot. Equipment workbench, mechanical equipment, equipment modification. All right. So there is a there is actually an extensive crafting system. I don't remember it being this much, I'll say that. A bicycle generator? Interesting. Barbed fence, yep, yep, yep. Off-road motorcycle, and I have half the ingredients. Motor, tires, and gears. Okay, I, I'll be honest. I don't know what to build at this point in time. It's clearly not going to be a base, so we're going to build an equipment workbench. We're going to put it in here. It's relatively easy mechanics-wise to build, so we're going to go ahead and see what we can... Oh, there we go. See? This is what I'm talking about. Spear. I can't build it. I need tier 2. How in the hell I get that? Bone armor. Ooh. Bird bones. Bones. Processed feathers. And it tells you you obtain through hunting. Interesting. I could go the whole bone route, which I will definitely do. Ballista bolt is ammo for the spike launcher. What is this? Upgrading? I'm not sure what this does. I think it's upgrading because it shows a plus one on all these items. And you do gotta hunt. I love that. Angelfish scales and fish bones. So I need to actually go hunting to increase my bag sizes. I love that. I, I don't care what anyone says. I'm a fan of it. Okay, so the knife that we have, that we made at the start of the game, where is it in the... Oh, here, it's over here. 20 damage, 20 stability, 3 weight. The pipe is 25 damage, 21 stability, 7 weight. I feel like I may go with a pipe. 
it's not hard to make. Let's make a pipe, and then let's make a bow, which we have just enough for. So let's move the spear out. Let's move that over there. Let's put the bow in here. Let's take the knife off, and then let's also put the pipe in here. Oh, and the pipe actually came out as a superior level, too. So it's got a fire reinforcement, whatever that is. And then let's go ahead and make ourselves... We need arrows, which now we need branches. Of course we need branches. The same branches required to make the bow. Well, at least we have a knife until then. Let's check out our levels. We're currently level 7, halfway into level 8. I, I do like this. It's been very easy to level. Okay. I honestly may just go for straight damage towards zombies for now. You know what? Let's do, let's do strength. Let, let's put two into strength. We haven't done that yet. And then what the? How the hell does this work? We have fire resistance coils, two lightning resistance coils, and one ignition coil. So these are different talent trees. I don't know what the hell a coil is though. Is my thing. So it says we need five resistance coils, judgment five, vitality five, and toxic coil ten but it reduces poison damage taken by a fifth, 20%, and it gives us one vitality. So a lot of these just require, oh, here we go here. Fire level one requires ignition coil five, which we have, and strength level five, which we have. So how do we no, hit our decision, make sure it works. Occupation is a soldier, two hearts, low voice, thin skin. I don't know what those traits mean. They don't sound good. So how do we, how do we do this then? Can be attached to equipment at the equipment modification bench. Okay, so it allows us to add fire chance to attacks. It looks like 5% of fire attacks when attacking judgment plus one, which gives us HP recovery and evasion rate. So what these coils allow us to do is upgrade our weapons with elements we're gonna shut this door this may be the end of us in here I mean I do remember this game being hard as shit at nighttime and we we're almost to nighttime also I am personally a fan of first person in games like this Ooh, if you would rather see me play in third person just let me know just so I have like a tally I'd like to know how y'all feel about it oh I'm a dodge Get at me. 9 p.m. I think most games 10 p.m. is usually nighttime, right? Is that track? Something sounds like a fucking demon in the next room, and I'm gonna be honest, I don't want to find out what it is. Ooh, there's a lot of good gunpowder, gunpo. Okay, a lot of good materials. Mm, okay, this one's empty. We got a bed. Yo, can we wait out the night? Needs a wrench to break. Okay, okay. What do we got in here? One research, then a cell. So, provides electricity. It's just a battery. Okay. An electricity cell, so yeah, battery. Okay, cool. We have chose every room except for the room that whatever the hell the, the growling is coming from. Okay, let's grab that. Alright, what's in the box? What's in the box? What's that noise? Something flying? Oh, come on. No. Get away from me, man. Something. Okay, there's the dude who's got his hands bound. He's a screamer. I'm, I'm just going to dub it a screamer. I don't know what the hell it's called. Nothing's told me what it's called. Oh, this is repair. Okay, so yeah, the green on the left is the is the uh, durability. Okay, so we got our... Real quick, we just got defense. We have attack. We have viewpoint, dodge, crouch. Normally, games like this, it's nighttime at 10 p.m. So we're almost... Nope. 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 Oh my god. Okay, shut the door. Shut the door. Close it. Right, what do we got here? Okay, we 
got cloth and research data. We have a computer in here. Why are we breaking it? Does this mean... Oh, what is that, though? It's a circuit? Okay, is there anything I can use or drop? Painkiller gives us HP, but we don't want to use it. It's 45 HP. Cooling water. Let's see. Cold resistance. We don't... Rotten coffee? Used to survive in cold zone. Obtained through the vending machine. We're going to drop that, actually. Okay. Oh, no, I used it. Son of a whore. Okay, damn it. Well, then I guess we are going to use uh, a can of beans, then. So right-click is used in inventory. Okay, so... It's about to hit nighttime. I don't know if we can survive in this building. I think zombies can just outright open doors at night. So... We're going to give it a couple minutes. We're going to shut most of these doors. And we're going to hold up in... I think we're going to hold up in the bathtub. I think from a mechanical point of view, with zombie reach and might reach, if I can hold them off with my little, my little viking shield, it will be safe. How close are we to our object? Oh, we're so close, man. 44, 166... We're at 44,165. Okay, so I'm going to assume each square is like a kilometer. So up and down. Yeah. All right, cool. So one, one clom for each. Not bad. I don't really know what to... You know what? We're going to go into the room where we put our crafting shit. It's right here, right? No, next room. Yeah. We did check all this. Oh, need a wrench for that one. Close that. I, I don't remember if you can hole up in this game. So, what else can we make in here? We can make an equipment repair kit, but we are out of spaces. Make some mollies. Brass knucks. 20 damage, 22 stability. Better than the knife. Pretty good. I don't think there's any other items we can actually make. What does this do? Disassemble? Okay. Oh, that's actually cool. So if we disassemble some of these items, we get other shit back. Iron, ingot, plate, copper wire. I don't need cells right now, so let's disassemble the cells. Gunpowder turns into charcoal and sulfur. Small meat cut. Oh, we can literally just break down manure and get meat, intestines, and leaves? That seems a little broken, man. Lumber turns into logs. Planks turns into logs. Bricks turns into stone. I'm going to go ahead and disassemble those because I can't think of any need for bricks in the near future. Copper wire turns into a copper ingot. Let's do it. Let's do it. Iron plate turns into iron ingot. Let's do it. Wand also turns into ingots. That's actually pretty good. Graduation thesis used to do research. We'll keep it for now. Okay, we've cleared up a couple of spaces in our inventory. So we'll, we'll keep what we got for now. Javelin, though, I do kind of want to break down the javelin because it was pretty useless. It was extremely hard to use. It did no damage, and I can't break it down. Son of a bitch. All right, whatever. We have herbs that we can eat. Leaves that do nothing. I'm assuming the mushrooms will be used in larger recipes. Okay, it's now 10 p.m. We are currently A-OK. -okay. That red skull has not filled up all the way. The hell is that noise, man? Can we can we grab some some branches? Maybe. Fine. Okay, we got one branch. Oh my god, the distancing in this game is is ridiculous. I'll just say that now. Okay, yep. two branches. Come on. We want some arrows. That's why we're doing this. Just so everybody's aware. Inventory is full. Alright, cool. So, let's go back inside. This is where we're holing up for now. Okay, what do we do here? The gun po. Let's go into the breakdown section. Oh, you gotta... Wait, hold on. 
Oh, I can't actually break anything down from here. I gotta do it from the bench. It looks like. Yeah, I do. Okay. Okay. Nails, tape. Tape turns into rubber. Electronic device. We are gonna break down the electronic device because we just don't need that right now. That gave us no room. Okay. Can we go ahead and make some arrows then? Can we drop them like right here if we gotta make them? Let's make 40 arrows. Inventory is full. Inventory is full. Drop tape. Right? Can I drop it? There we go. Now make all the arrows. Arrows. Wait, shouldn't I have had 40? I can make 8 times 5. Right? Okay. Can I put the arrows in the arrow bag? I seem to be unable to. Interesting. What about the food? Can I put food in the food bag? It uses it. Why do, Why does it use it, man? That doesn't help me at all. Fucking hey, okay. Whatever. Um, those down there. What's something we can drop or get rid of? I don't want to get rid of research notes because that sounds like it's going to be useful at some point. Those are the five arrows that drop. Okay, so we did make 40. So there is that. We cannot grab that. We cannot grab the duct tape. Oh, I think we are going to drop the seed. That seems like something really easy to get. And duct tape seems... In most games, it's really hard to get. Adhesive is always hard to come by. I'm going to try something a little unorthodox, though. So let's see what we can do here. Trap. We need fucking branches. You have to be absolutely kidding me. Let's grab iron plate. Fuck it. Disassemble the iron plate. We, we have an extra slot. This game may be like unlike all the other survival games. I think it's going to get bad at midnight. I'm extremely used to playing Dead by Daylight where it hits 10 p.m. and then until you know 4 or 6 a.m. depending on your settings you're stuck fighting. Oh, it just saved. Okay. Okay, we need we need more. Come on. Give me branches, baby. We need branches. Papa needs branches. Leaves, fine. Son of a bitch. Okay, we don't okay, we have two branches. Hell yeah. Alright, cool. So Barbed fence. Tango. Place there. How do I load? That's what I'm talking about. Shit on kid. How do we... This is so perilous. Oh, come on. Take all? Hell yes. Look at that. The bow is already paying off large. Alright, we need more branches. If I get off here, though, can I get back up is my question. I honestly don't want to try. Can I put the arrows down here? Okay, so now we can see that we have 40 arrows. Can I use a torch as well? I cannot. Son of a bitch. I, I don't want to do it, but I think I'm going to wait right here until midnight, man. Like, let's go and open all these doors. I guess we got to run to and from areas. We know how to dodge, so I mean, we're doing all right. We've got a shield. It's not on our bar, though. Move the shield to where the pick is. Put the axe where the shield was. Now I can hit the pipe and the shield and be ready to roll, baby. Yes. Okay. That switching system is very well done. I do like that. It looked like that zombie couldn't climb up here, so I'm... I'm praying <laughs> that we're in a good enough area to where if I stand on the side, they'll come to me. I can just smack them in the head. All right, let's let's work on our distance, on our range. Oh my goodness! Okay. Okay, that's cool. We pulled him. Oh. 
That's cool too. Get wrecked, man. Okay, we got five strength, five memory. Judgment was HP recovery, endurance is damage taken, stamina regeneration. We're going to go with reducing our damage taken and our stamina regeneration. Reducing damage taken, increasing stamina regeneration. We can't step on our own spikes, son of a bitch. That's a rookie mistake. Oh, I don't think we can get back up. Okay, we can mantle. We can mantle. All right. Judging by the timer in the top right, where that bleeding skull is, um, shit may be about to pop off. So, and we didn't get two arrows back. I know we missed at least once. We may have missed twice. The gra with the graphics the way they are, I couldn't even tell if we actually shot over or under, though. Motion blur is off. Post processing, we're going to put on very high. We're going to move the shadows up, effects, natural objects. We should be able to do most of these things very high. I'm just going to say that right now. We're, we're on a pretty beefy PC. Yes. We changed the settings to make the game look better, and the game said no you. So, we're going to load back in on our autosave, which is at 11.52 p.m. at night, and hope we don't crash again, because this is also a game that is in early access, as most games are nowadays. No one knows how to complete a game anymore. You didn't hear it from me. But, uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's see what we got. Let's see if we can make it through the night. A little salty. About the game crashing after I just changed the settings, but it is what it is. Oh, this isn't good at all. Oh man, it moved us back. We do have our bow, we have our arrows, but it got rid of our crafting. It got rid of our. Oh, son of a bitch. Okay, we gotta do our trap. There it is. Okay, we gotta make one more after this one. So let's do like that, and then we gotta get more branches. So, exit that. I think I got it from this. I need two branches. Also, the game seems darker now. Is it just me? Okay, leaves, vines. Screw it. We'll go ahead and just take a tree down. I don't want to venture too far from this building because I've cleared the building. It's mostly safe. Three branches. Oh fuck, it's that thing. Fuck. I heard a th another one. Grab the arrows. Oh, he jumped down. That's fine. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, we're good, we're good. No one panic. No one panic. Our other barricade right here is slightly staggered. We did find out before we crashed that we cannot touch our own barricade. So, that, that's good general knowledge to have. The game did get like darker since I changed the shadows, right? Damn, it got so much darker. I don't like it. Also, the right click to aim. Oh, it's left click to aim. Right click to cancel. Okay, okay, okay. I see what we're doing now. Oh, there's two different... So there's third person one, and third person uh, backed up. That's pretty cool. That's good if I'm, like, running from several enemies. That way I can see where they are at in relation to myself, and I can get away from them a little bit easier. So, I mean, honestly, we're going to wait out the night until that skull decides to quit bleeding. And if we can make it through the night, we are currently losing our bow to a graphical error. You can tell this game is in early access, but it has a lot to offer. So that's why I'm here for it. I I love early access games, man. I don't know. I don't know what you want from me. That's why you're here, right? Okay, is that a zombie? I can't even tell. Should we try it? Let's try it. Mm. Yeah, I can't tell where the where the arrow went. It's it's too damn dark for me. All right. So yeah. We're going to wait, and if we can make it through the night, and we don't get absolutely obliterated after midnight, um, we'll go ahead and save it. We'll call it a night, and if you guys are interested in seeing another one, we'll, we'll play through this 
day by day, episode by episode. We'll, uh, we'll try to actually construct a base on the outside of town. Do the hunting, do all that. We'll, uh, we'll see what all we can do, how, how much we can get out of it. So while we're waiting on shit to happen, I don't remember if it even does. I'm just guessing. Oh, did stuff respawn? Oh, well that's interesting and cheaty. Some items have respawned already. Right? Other areas can I research? That's the one I need a wrench. Wasn't it? Did I need a wrench for this? I thought I did. No? Okay. Alright, well, some items re respawned then? I don't know, man. Don't ask. <clears throat> Alright, since we can't build any more of those, what else can we build? Columns, walls. We can build some walls. Build some half walls. Window wall. Let's build us a little half wall. Or a wall, I guess. Alright, how do I... You're rotating his mouse. Well, that's cool. Okay. Yeah, let's build one. Ooh, this is nice. We can make like a little, a little kill box. Wave started. Son of a bitch. <clears throat> um, I don't remember what I needed to build all this with, but uh, material deficiency. Yep, I was hoping this would not happen. Can I get on top of this wall without falling? Or going over it? Okay, there we go. That's alright. Okay, so now we have day one hour zero. Do things know where we are? Like, are they going to come straight to us? Or can we hide through it? Because, honestly, if it lets us hide through it, I'll do that for the first night. Also, oh, there's almost no drop on this thing. Good to know. Uh, what I was going to say is also, is there a wave every night? And how large is a wave? Is it exponential in growth? Look at that. Bet you didn't even see him. Come on up. Let's go, buddy. He's a spitter? What the hell does that even mean? Okay, let's go. <laughs> Yo, let's go, kids. Come on, kids. You like violence? Is this all the first night is? And how long does it last? Because let's be real here, we're an hour into it. It took an hour to get us from like 2 p.m. to midnight. So 10 hours is... 10 hours in game is an hour IRL, right? Oh God, I hear you. Okay, he's, he's breaking my wall. Oh, we're stuck. Okay. All right. Oh God. Oh, she glitched up here. What happens if we run out of ammo? I have misinterpreted the situation, boys. We overestimated. We did not get enough branches. Okay. Oh God. I don't know if I actually have to draw all the way back. Oh my god, there's so many of them. I didn't re-put my arrows back on my bar. I don't know how many I have. Oh my god, how many of them are there going to be? Grab the arrows. Cool, we have 14. Cool. Grab more. We got 12. How long until that wall breaks? Okay. Oh, fuck. Got you. Got you. 
Okay. We have three arrows left. Oh god! Oh, yep. Yep, this is the end. Okay, we got three arrows again. Cancel that. Oh man, this is um This is not going hot. Nope. Currently they're still on the walls. That's fine. I don't think I can hit them through this. Is there a repair tool or a way to repair? Right, yeah, start hitting the spikes. Okay, here we go. This is gonna be our only Oh god! This is gonna be our only real salvation. Come on. One at a time. One at a time, baby. Let's go. I can't hit them through the spikes without maybe also hitting myself on the spikes. God damn it. Okay. Um, hold on. No. Everything we got. We gotta use every tool at our disposal. Oh god. Why does hitting them help them over? Ah. Oh no. Okay. Okay. We took a hit? We took a hit from that? There's a there's our shield. Put it up here. Five. We gotta heal. Hit an eight. Alright, we gotta hold our we gotta hold our ground now. We got research data. One arrow. Two arrows, three arrows. Oh we got four arrows? We got arrows, boys. We got arrows. Get out of here. Oh, it's a fat boy. Get the fat boy. Get out of here, Drax. Oh, they they got the walls. They got the walls. Oh, no. Okay. All right. We got to handle this like a man. Oh my god, we are a monster. We are an absolute beast of a man. Or a woman. We're not exactly happy about what's going on, but... Grab as much as we can. That should give us arrows. 23, baby. Okay, this is a different game. Note to self, don't talk about doing good. Oh god! When does it end? I will ha have to say, with limited knowledge and resources, we've made it very far already. Oh, we're out of ammo. <gasps> Close! Get out of here. Who are you in my dojo? We need more strength. Now. Okay. 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 Grab it all. Oh god! Alright, we gotta hold the line. That's pretty much it. Oh god. This is where we start to lose it! Okay. No, no, no! Okay, there's an inconsistency in the amount of hits it takes, and that's killing me, honestly. Like, some zombies are two hits, and then the same zombie is also three hits. Okay, grab all we can. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's it, baby. I like this. Oh, this is fun combat. As janky as this is, the melee combat is so fun. Oh, damn it. Behind me, maybe? Or is it in front of me? It's just... Okay, just in front of me. Do I have to kill X amount of zombies for the wave to quit? Alright. Aim for the head. Even if you miss, aim for the head. Oh, God! How am I not hitting? Ah! 
No, no, no. Oh god, dodge. Eat a bar. Oh, the ability to cleave and hit more than one zombie is phenomenal. Cleaving strikes, sweeping strikes, whatever the hell you call it in whatever games you play. I love it. Oh, he's breaking my base. Oh, that's what they're after. Okay, that's cool. That's fine. Grab that. We did not shut the door. We are not very smart. Oh, God. Okay. Uh, it says hour one, day one. It doesn't say anything about waves anymore. Why can't I hit you? Oh, God. Oh, no. Don't let it spiral. Nope. I don't think we've successfully blocked a single attack, by the way. Also, I've not tried. Room temperature IQ. Y'all know this. Holy shit, man. Get away from my base. So do they specifically just go after bases? Like, can I just stand here and beat the shit out of them as they walk in to try and kill the base? Or are some of them also targeting me as well? Wait, let's pull out the torch so I can see. And then when they come in here, I'm going to beat ass and eat ass. Also, can we talk about how strong these spikes are? I feel like I'm playing Silent Hill with a first-person mod. I love it. You guys are going to have to let me know if you actually enjoy this before we make a series out of it. But I am just genuinely enjoying beating the shit out of zombies with a fucking pipe. <laughs> I play so many games where you just walk through and get the shit scared out of you and you're defenseless. I love playing games where you can fight back as well. Even if the combat is absolutely fucked. Dodge! Okay. Yeah, they, they just run right after the base. Got it. Good, good. That's good to know. That means we can formulate a- oh god! Formulate a plot! We can actually work on a, a strategy like place a single item down, let them go to the item, and then fuck them up as they try to destroy it. Listen, that's what happens after you fuck around, you find out. Oh, he's a big boy! Have I killed one of these yet? Yo, he is huge! Fully glitching into the walls, too. Why did my torch... Okay. Oh, God! Oh, son of a bitch, man! I haven't even checked to see if they can bust open the doors yet. Let's, uh... Front door's still intact. Spikes are still holding. Let's shut the door. And then let's shut this door. Can I... Can I hit them as they push through the wall? Just out of curiosity, man. I gotta be quicker on the draw. Yeah, I don't think it's gonna happen. Can I still make a Molotov cocktail? I can. Inventory's full. Drop the one branch that we have. Drop it. D. Why can't I drop it? There we go. Craft the mollies. Place that. Okay, I don't know how the molly works. We're gonna try it though. Six is not letting me switch to six. One, two. Oh, it's because I had the shield on, maybe? I don't know how to use it. I fully dropped my shield now and can't pick it back up. Oh, come on. There it goes. Okay, so she died. She just outright died. Okay. There we go. It, okay, I guess it set him on fire. Okay, so let's go over here. Did that work? Oh my god, oh, oh mollies are useful. Hell yeah. All right. What a pipe, which is at half durability, by the way. 
for anyone who's paying attention at home. Oh, fuck. My own spike, man. Okay, is it... Is it still, like, wave time? Like, are we still getting shit on by waves? Or, like, what the hell's going on here? Because... It's definitely not safe. Take as much as we can. Oh, no. Oh, that was a bad idea. Mantle, mantle up! Oh, missed that one. Oh my god. There we go. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Ain't no way, man. Ain't no way the zombies are still coming in hour two of day one. Oh, big guy. Or girl. Can't tell. Too dark. Holy shit! Like that? I'm about out of fucking arrow. These arrows, though. Durability? Holy shit. Some games don't let you... Oh, he glitched inside. She glitched inside. Music is finally back to normal. You are kidding me. That was legit the entire wave it took into the third hour of the next day. So it's midnight to 3 a.m. Oh my god, man. All right, we're going to eat a can of beans. Beans. What the fuck? All right. I am frazzled after this. The stagger from the bow is invaluable to surviving. Let's grab that. Let's grab everything we can, because our inventory is now full. After I after I praised the size of the inventory system, our inventory is now full. Oh. Really? I like Oh god. I don't like that some things have an animation. Like picking up items off of zombies or the wall like that right there. Actually, you got to take time to do the animation to grab it. But then other things like building and crafting have no animate, like no animations, none. Holy shit, though. I genuinely cannot believe we survived that. We put down two spikes four walls total okay and we just ho hold up held up inside of a prefab which games never want you to do my bow is about to break that's it oh it's it oh I hit the spike Oh my god, okay. Take it all. There we go. I will say, dude, just the the combat in this game is very fun. Like, it's janky as hell. It doesn't really make sense, but it's fun. The hitboxes are ridiculous. Um, the hitboxes are absolutely ridiculous. The distance <laughs> is ridiculous for swings and shit. But it's satisfying. I, I I don't know what else to say. It's it's just satisfying. The building system's probably gonna be pretty cool once we actually like dive into it. Okay, do we have any branches on us? I think I dropped all of our branches. We had one branch left, right? Logs. God, we're almost full up on logs though. Can't break anything down in the inventory. We're doing pretty good. We are... Let's see. Can we pull out the axe and a torch? No. Right, we're going to try to get some branches real quick so we can make some more arrows. I don't know if there's another animation we're supposed to be getting. We're doing it wrong. But this is what we got. Vine, log, leaf. What did we, what did we miss, though? We had slots open. Oh, it's because we had the pipe and the... Oh, damn it. I don't like that. We're going to drop this mushroom. Select the mushroom. D for drop. There we go. 
What, what was this? What is it? An apple? Oh, we'll eat an apple. 5 HP? Go ahead and just eat it. We don't even need it. We just a snack. A tasty um, treat after surviving. We're gonna build just an outright fucking warrior in this game. Zombies will fear us. They don't even know how to fear, and they're gonna fear us. They don't even know they're fearing us. They're just gonna see us and, and poop their pantaloons. Do wish I had a gun, though. We are gonna get rid of the throwing knives. They're honestly just detrimental at this point. They don't help us at all. Claw hammer just to destroy buildings. A ton of paper. Okay, we got another achievement. All right, arrow wise, we have 10. Let's go ahead and make some more. I think it stacks in 30s. Yes, we'll make 30. That way we have two inventory slots. Hell yeah, we'll drop the javelin too, because I'm not gonna use it. Oh, why did it do that? No. Why, why is it doing that? There we go, oh my god. All right, so let's equip our pipe. And equip our shield. One and five. There we go. Let's go in third person so we can see. Yeah, we move like an absolute warrior. Oh, it got rid of our waypoint. It was 44166. From what I remember. We will double check. 4431, 166, 39. Okay, so we gotta remember 31 and 39. Okay, so 31 is here, 39 is here. That's our actual waypoint. So let's go to two. We, after surviving the night, we have ran out of fucks to give. Plus we don't know if we're gonna play this for more than one day. So let's just boot, scoot, and fuck everything up. Seems like stealth is a little bit easier at night, too. I can't see a fucking thing. Oh, God! Since I cut shadows up. Ah. God! Okay. And then this one. Oh, God. So does the... Oh, shit. Does the screaming actually summon more zombies? Like, do, zip, do different zombies scream more and summon more zombies? Is that how that works? Okay, alright. Um, we have more stats available. I'm kind of liking the build we're rolling with currently, so we're honestly just going to go with more in the memory section. That's more zombie and uh, looting. More zombie damage and gathering damage. It's so dark, I can't really see anything. We're going to see what we can get. I hope we're safe, and there's no zombies, like, right on our donkey. Okay. Let's, uh... How far are we from... Okay, we're so close to the waypoint, we're... I don't know, half a kilometer? If that? We're just gonna sprint it out. It's starting to actually be daytime again. It seems like stealth is actually a, a system that can be used in this game as well, which is something a lot of these games like say that they have, but then they don't really utilize it. I don't know if there's like sneak damage or you know the ability to like put your opponent off their foot or anything like that, but yeah, it would be pretty cool to have like a sneak build and just run around shanking shit. Okay, so it's this building. Let's check our journal. Second floor. And it's a research facility. You know what? We've been going at it for an hour, hour 15 or so. It's a new day. The day's just starting. We survived the night. I think I'm going to end it here, right before the research facility. And so that way, the next time we start this game up, if you guys want to see it, please let me know in the comments. If you don't want to see it, I'm not going to record it. I'm probably just going to play this game solo. But if you want to see it, let me know. 
But this way, we can go into the research facility tomorrow, do our thing, and start a base. But yeah, I think right here is where we're going to end it. So let's go ahead and save it. We'll do a quick save, and we'll do a regular save over the auto. You know what? We'll just do um, first play, because we don't have any other playthroughs of this game. But yeah, I'm going to call it right there. We're going to call it a night, return to the main menu, and then tomorrow we can start out 4 a.m., go into the research facility, see what the hell's up. Um, if you guys took the time to watch this and get this far, I genuinely appreciate it. You're the reason I do this. Let me know what you thought. If you want to see more of this or more of these kinds of games in the future, please let me know. I'm more than willing to play through Forest and Sons of the Forest again. I love games like that. I love Seven Days to Die. This game, I'm not entirely sold on it yet, but the combat is extremely fun. Uh, I think I've already been jump scared twice, and it's not even like a scary game. So yeah, let me know what you think in the comments, and uh, as always, thanks for watching.